So there are logs which are automatically being released. Like if you go ahead, if I select any other database, it will automatically release the log for me. So one way is to select the database if we are utilizing the master database and we go over here. So if I go over here, we'll go get this particular part. Else, over here, the master database is there. You click over here, you'll get the same pop-up, right? Over here, it shows you which user you have logged in. So if you want to change the user, you just go ahead and log in, log in with any other user you want to go ahead and log in, okay? And this is how much Java memory is being there for your machine and how much your tool is utilizing currently out of it. So this is a environment limit which we set in environment variables. Now with schema, schema is the area where we will be going ahead and we will be creating our main base objects or main model, entire model, which we will be creating, we will be creating a schema. Our staging tables, our match and merge, relationships, reference tables, all those things, we will be going ahead and we will be creating it over here. Landing table will be created over here and the connection between landing and staging will be created in mappings. Okay. Schema viewer will showcase us the ER diagram of our tables which are related to each other. There are two distinct I have gone ahead and created. You can see one is in uh, blue color and the other one is in green, right? So why these are in green? Because these are not base objects, these are entity objects. Now what is the difference between a base object and an entity object? A base object is utilized for all the things which are related with our main data. But if we have to go ahead and create hierarchies, then we have to either convert them into the entity objects or we have to create the entity object in a proper way. So there are two types of entity objects. One is entity object and the second one is entity relation object. So this will store our relationship. This will store our main data. Okay. So it does not matter if you are having a small model or if you are having a big model, all your connections will be showcased like this. Okay. So it's basically for ER diagram. It's nothing for you cannot even go ahead and spread this or connect anywhere else. You cannot do anything. It will just showcase you the ER diagram with all the attributes which are there and only row ID object from system columns. Not all system columns will be showcased. <laughs> Okay, and there is system and trust. So in system and trust, trust is something which we'll discuss in match and merge. So it is majorly depends on what value we'll be surviving on the base objects and how we go ahead and configure it. System over here are what external source system we are getting the data from and admin is the internal source system. Admin is the basic display value 
but the primary key or i would say the value which you which we will be seeing in database will be system 0 which is sys 0 always okay so how we can create it we will be creating everything is either right click or the same thing will be going over here after we acquire the log. So right now if I'll just go ahead and do right clicks, it is not giving me anything. But if I'll go ahead and acquire the log, it will give me to add a system. If I add a system, I have to give the name, whatever name I want. So it will be like SAP or CRM we already have. Then I have to mention which will be the primary key for that part it will be what the name would be coming out. So it's not just a display name. First, we have to create the name which will be utilized with primary. And later on, if you want to change the display name, we can change the display name by going over. So if I want, no, I don't want to call it SAP. I want to call it SAP sales. So it will be converted from SAP to SAP sales, but the primary key will be SAP. So primary key is basically, you can say that every cross-reference tables, there are base object tables, there are cross-reference tables. So let me just go ahead. That's all right. So let's say I am just going into main table. So main table, you'll see multiple columns over here. One is row ID object. And till over here, all these 14 columns are system columns. We'll be discussing what each column is meant. Hub state and consolidation we'll be discussing by today itself because these two will be utilized so much that and these are a little bit complex as well. Not the consolidation indicator, but hub state indicator and how it acts up in different different scenarios we'll be seeing them as well okay so you you will just see over here as last row id system but in cross reference your primary key means the row id system so this one is your primary will be set over here and all these systems will be stored in C repos tables. Repos is the repository table. So you can see. And one thing over here is we never go ahead and change any data from the backend. We always go ahead and use front end for doing that. Because the connection between tables are multiple. So this is what connection looks like. These are the trust scores. So for systems, system names, row ID system names, the row ID system name would be in a different table altogether from repos tables. All the queries, query groups, if we have gone ahead and created any rules, we have created users, C repos is the system, C repos system. See, so these are the system names and the keys for not ID system. So all these are connected accordingly. Okay. So over here, then queries and packages are utilized in two areas. One is API calls. Second is 
in hub console in two areas which is data steward or message triggers if you want so how we'll utilize it we'll be seeing that queries and packages are basically interlinked with each other packages are dependent on queries once the package is being created that package will tell us if that particular package is for read or for put so we'll be creating those things as well cleanse function is nothing but to create validation and how we will be creating that all the things other than custom is basically given by informatica by default all these functionalities we will use all these functions as our base to mix and merge and to create the functionality accordingly the validation functions we cannot go ahead and create anything which is not been given over here okay so when we'll be doing the cleanse function i will be telling you what is the limitations over here we can create cleanse function we'll go ahead and create the user library idq library will be utilizing the idq mappings which are being published as web services okay but if we are utilizing those then make we make sure that we don't over utilize them because that is a performance degrading part because it has to connect to that particular service then all the functionality will run over there and then we'll get the output back it's a integration right mm -hmm. so in that way we sometimes lose our performance if the validations are very complex or very big okay so custom is something which i have just created for few things nothing much okay so all these are cleans functions which are given by informatic now going into the mappings as i stated mappings are utilized to link the landing and staging table so now when we say link the mapping and staging one landing can supply data to multiple staging tables but one staging table cannot receive data from multiple landings why because uh, first thing is the tool will not allow but the back end fact is the data or the stage process actually truncates and then loads the data when the two tables are supplying the data there is no union which is getting done over there hence if one is been started first it has to acquire the entire table log to go ahead and push the records over there so the other won't be able to do it and there is a single process for the same so all the stage process depends on how many staging tables we are having accordingly we will get stage process okay hierarchies in 10.4 we still create hierarchies over here but once the hierarchies are been created over here all those entity objects if we have gone ahead and created the entity objects in our provisioning tool then we can create the hierarchies in provisioning tool as well okay 